Looking at this bill, I think very simply you can say a cap is a cap is a cap is a cap. I guess I could say it's a cap. But no one else seemed to want to say that in the line of questioning. In line 74 is the word shall. The state shall. Shall. And when you're talking about greenhouse gases, Mr. Speaker, if the state shall do something and someone from the private sector says you haven't done it, it opens our state up tremendously to lawsuits. Lawsuits perhaps to the like we've not seen before. In my legislative career, I've seen a struggle through many lawsuits that have cost the state a great deal of money, some that have produced some good results, some that have produced some very expensive, not so good results, and some that have caused more problems than when we started. Mr. Speaker, when you look at the plotting of the state's temperature, the country's temperature, the world's temperature, which they can do, as Representative Piscopo said, from ocean bottom testing, from bedrock, you find that 124 to 128,000 years ago, before man really had an impact, we had global warming far beyond what we have now, and then shortly thereafter we had global cooling. But in my lifetime, Mr. Speaker, what I remember is in the 70s, the early 70s, and we were worried about global cooling. Mr. Speaker, in my former life and in my work in oceanography, what I can tell you is one of the biggest impacting factors on heat, on cold, are the oceans. And presently right now, Mr. Speaker, I can tell you that the Atlantic and the Pacific, of course, the two largest bodies of water that influence the world climate, they're both at a high peak at the moment, something that is cyclical. And what happens is when one of them starts to have a cool off and then the other one starts to have a cool off, you will see these shifts. And at the present time, the next ocean to cool off is the Atlantic Ocean. So in my lifetime, if I do live as long as my father, we will be back in the discussion of global cooling. I think the intent of this bill was to do something very positive. I think, Mr. Speaker, the actual impact of this bill is very negative. Thank you, sir.